I did too much lying, wasted too much time. Now I'm here and crying. I, I, I. Exactly, a hot mess. Capricorn, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, share for my daily Capricorn readings. And drop the sign of this person that is crying themselves to sleep. Been all around the world trying to find you because you done left them behind. And it screams ghosting. Shout out to the Capricorns born on the 9th and 19th, 8th and 18th. 78, 87, 86, 72. The fact that you have disappeared, that you are no longer speaking to this person, and either they have a lot of deep feelings for you, even though they've been lying and trying you, or the fact that they were keeping some secrets that were the breakdown of this relationship is really starting to hit somebody. Again, Capricorn, drop this person's sign down below and any of the repeating numbers that you've been seeing. And as a matter of fact, drop your Chinese zodiac down below. Y'all know I'm the year of the snake. It's the moon, Pisces, Cancer, and the sun, Leo, Sagittarius for me. What was going on in the dark or what somebody was too blind to see, it, now there's a big light bulb turned on. Now somebody's finally gotten the idea, but I also feel very strongly, while they're listening to all these 90 slow jams, feeling bad, sad, and depressed, that somebody really is wanting a second chance with you. Wanting to try and make things work. Because here's the deal. This person can't move on. They have been extremely unable to move on. And it's the heavy air energy with the seven, eight of air. And then the Libra energy here with the six of pentacles. And it screams an unfair situation. What were they lying about? Kicking it with you and somebody else? There being somebody, you know, in the background. Because notice the mermaid here. Shout out to my people in the Caribbean. See, there's something about this mermaid slash siren that's got me wondering. Like the somebody got a little bit too close to the water or was too thirsty rather and they bit off more than they could chew. It's given the drunken love Beyonce vibes with the two of cups. But this relationship, they cannot get past. The lying, the cheating, the being underhanded. It, to me, it almost speaks to somebody thinking like, even if like they were going to get away with something. Like, because you couldn't see it here, that two of swords moment, and then we have the five up here, they could talk their way out of something. But the fact that they've been ghosted, or you've disappeared, removed yourself from the situation, has somebody strongly reconsidering and wanting to, you know, extend this cup of love. Coming through with an apology, trying to make things right. We see the sun. The three of wands, little fire action. And the lovers, big Gemini. Not the little one. Please drop this person sign. And then we have the temperance here, Sagittarius. I feel like this person is feeling now like you were their person. Y'all know I don't like terms like soulmate and twin flames. I roll, I roll into the back of my skull. But this is how they're feeling now. It's the 11th hour wake up call. And I do feel like there was a cheatation. I do feel like there was a hidden situation in the background or how somebody really felt was not really shown until they were cast out, kicked away. You moved on. Cause remember the lovers, Adam and Eve in the garden they got that eviction notice. And no, I never noticed the snake on a tree here till now, as long as I've had this debt. 
It was only after this person consumed, had took part in consuming, excuse me, the forbidden fruit and got put out of your life, out of your house, out of your car, out of your will, that opened this person's eyes. Like this is somebody who felt like they would have multiple opportunities and now that they're stuck, see, they thought you were stuck. They thought you were stuck. And we really see somebody, maybe they do a lot of traveling here with the three of wands. But now that there's been this separation, I strongly feel like the fact that all they've seen is your back, that they can only watch you, the only access that they have is from a distance, I feel like that's very, <laughs> very um, scary to this individual. When I tell you that this person has had sleepless nights, stressed, depressed, over and under eating, okay, drinking themselves to sleep, it's a lot. It's a lot, family. Capricorn. Who is this person? that saw the physical, let me change my camera, that thought the physical relationship that you all had was enough to keep you stuck in, a, in the situation. Mm, mm, mm. Is that all they brought to the table? And drop those repeating numbers, eight of, air, eight of fire, eight of air. The sixes, six of earth, six of air, as above, so below. This thing's getting balanced out. When you left ghosted, shout out to the people born in 76, 67, ghosted, walked away, never spoke to this person again, blocked. It was shocking. And not only that, completely removed yourself from the situation, completely removed this person from your life. Big Virgo, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, few eights, few sixes. You even blocking this person online, them having to watch from fake profiles, pretending to be men or women, trying to get on, on your Instagram, your Facebook to see what's going on. It's been a real eye-opening moment, the repeating nines as well. Mm, mm, mm. The fact that they also see you happy, some of you being moved on in other relationships, hurt. Give somebody a Band-Aid, some rubbing alcohol, hurting, hurting. And it really speaks to somebody who was in and out, off, and, off again, on again, or rocky at best, hot and cold. To now see you having things go well for you, which has been consistent in the readings, at least over here on this channel. Moving on with somebody else that's making you happy. It's making them sick. Sick. Please drop the sign of this person who had a lot of baggage, was traveling a lot. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer person. But the fact that you moved on, even after whatever it is that they put you through, again, that is terrifying to this person. You weren't supposed to be this confident, Capricorn. You weren't supposed to be this sure of yourself. That's what people do when they think that they can play with you like this. The secrets, the lies, the games, it's cost somebody. And the fact that they lost you in this particular way and they're wanting, wanting really to make things work, wanting a fresh start with you, wanting to extend this olive branch, and you're not taking it. Them boundaries are sky high. Excuse me, the walls are sky high. Them boundaries are strong. You've changed. You change and it's making a head over heart decision because it's not just this person that still has the deep feelings. I feel, 
Capricorn, that you may still have deep feelings for this person more than you'd like to admit. But it's the lies and the games, the fact that you, you know, this person was half in, half out, or even getting cold feet about things, was too much. Somebody's lack of maturity, lack of impulse control, also being a factor here. I also feel like for somebody, there was this need to always be out and searching for what they thought was better. Newsflash, buddy. Better never came around, Capricorn. Mm, and another six. Better never came around. Right. A complete change in perspective. It, see, it wasn't supposed to happen like this. Especially if this, if this person was the ghost, or even if it was a mutual walking away, this is somebody who thought that you would at least look back. Like Lot's wife in the Bible. Looking back and be stuck. Not just salty and bitter, because that's one way to keep somebody stuck, having them just be angry. But the always looking back, always wondering what could be, always, you know, wondering if, if you had another opportunity. But to the person that's moved on, this person is sick. Sick. Oof. That you're in another commitment somewhere else, or at least committed to your stability without them. It's, it's an eye-opening moment. Scorpio Aries. Eye-opening. When I say that this person's hurt their own feelings, trying to hurt you to keep you stuck, or at least playing mind games in an effort to keep you stuck, hurt. Hurt. Emotional, like Carl Thomas, hurt. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Cause here's the thing, now they wanna talk about the past. Now they'd like to work it out. Now, again, their eyes, their eyes being opened, but it was that toxic energy, self-sabotage, vices, the need to entertain others. And notice how all of these cards look very similar. This Capricorn energy here, the Gemini energy here, and the moon. Notice how there's two people in each. But these people are free with the lovers in the moon. But here's somebody shackled up, enslaved, chained to each other. And as I mentioned, six of air, six of earth, as above, so below. See, this person acted like, treated you like you were on the same type of nonsense, the same type of time that they were. And when they discovered that was not quite the case, that you were just moving on, I also felt like there was this level of trying to humble you. It, it, they've lost control. Is the loss of control and somebody actually being seriously done with the situation? Nine, nine, nine. That is scary. That's all. I feel like it's also causing this person to want to reach out and try to regain control over a situation. But I feel like for the majority of people tapping in, it, what's done is done. What's done is done. Who was the sign that was obsessed with power and control? Status, what other people think. Again, that chasing, thinking that they could have better, that they could do better. Now they want to reconcile. Now they want to see what's going on with you. And notice how our girl here has got the mermaid top on and we see a mermaid here. The murky waters. They can't move on, so they want you to be stuck. You need to be very careful about this person coming back if you're not wanting to be with them long-term. This is one of those situations where if somebody can't have you, they may try to lock you down in another way. Having a baby, 
trying to get you to co-sign for something. This is somebody who wants to keep it a consistent connection, even if they got to lie to do it. Mm, mm, mm. Even if they have to do something underhanded and crazy to and crazy to do it. I feel like this person wants to come in and say that they've uh, they've matured emotionally and they're sorry and wanting to make a situation work, wanting another chance. Because they see you as your long term as excuse me, as their long-term person. They're talking about a commitment, they're talking about marriage, but this Queen of Pentacles is also a mother. Mother, father, pick up what I'm putting down. This, if you are not careful, this person will try to come in and put what you have, your life as you currently know it, on hold. This is somebody who wants you to put a pause on something to repeat a cycle that has repeated itself before. Because they see you happy somewhere else. I feel like a lot of you moved on in a new relationship and other better situations, getting opportunities, especially for the person that is by themselves and happy and healthy and things are going well. It's like, how could you be happy and healthy? happy, healthy, successful without this person? How can you do it without speaking to them? Listen, I wouldn't be shocked at this if you're in a relationship and this person doesn't try to reach out to the individual that you're hooked up with. Out of jealousy, out of envy, out of, out of just trying any way that they can to try to get, regain a connection with you. Like, oh, if I talk to so-and-so, their girl, their, their man, whatever it is, They'll give me another chance. They'll understand that I'm still very much invested. It's coming off childish and crazy. Because even the commitment that they're coming with is small. It's, it's small in comparison. Six, another one. Shout out to the Christmas Capricorns. Um... Somebody's pride and ego has been hurt. But also the fact that you are doing well, looking good, feeling good and very confident. Somebody is understanding that they're, they're, somebody is understanding that they are losing you permanently. That you have stepped into or are starting to step into a different chapter. And if they don't do something to keep you tied to them, they will permanently lose access. This, this, is the real, this is the real serious end of the relationship that you did, in fact, Leo Energy here with the strength card, had the strength and the courage to walk away, to leave somebody alone, to leave a situation alone, especially somebody as immature as this is scary. And like I said earlier in the reading, people try to play with you when they think that you're insecure. This this is one of those. They thought that you would never they thought that you would never be able to walk away from them. And now that they can see that you not only could you walk away, but things will be okay when you walked away, that you weren't out in the cold, homeless, struggling, stressed out. This person did not see that coming didn't see it coming the fact that some of you have moved on gotten married found somebody else never expected that understand that this person watching you heavily from a distance over the internet keeping tabs i'm telling you the fake profiles and fake numbers and not just to you other people around you capricorn It's like they want to make a situation right, but there's a lot of chaos that surrounds or follows this person. I also feel like somebody's very much stuck, is stubborn, and set in their ways. I also feel like somebody's very double-minded, and that's part of the cycles you've been going through with this person. And notice we have this two and this four here of Earth. Who's having a kill? Which Capricorns are having a, a child this year? 
in the year 2024. The fact that you are solid and stable on your own, making this person nervous. You haven't talked to them, reached out to them, not made any contact yet. Your stability was a threat to this relationship and somebody knew that. And that's why this person thought that they could play in your face. That they could be in and out inconsistent. Okay, that they didn't have to apologize or commit to you in the past with this hair font, Taurus. Oh yeah. And that and that's the thing. Because they felt they didn't have to commit to you before. That's why they're coming in with this small and or weak commitment here. Like not quite breadcrumbing, but just a little bit more than that to keep somebody going. What is this person angry about? It gives the bitter, angry, unable to move on frowny face and also somebody who likes to fight a lot go back and forth like you just don't have time for it i also feel like that's part of why you you've moved on from the situation block them but also at the 11th hour now they want to fight for the situation capricorn drop this person's sign down below let me know what resonated for you Subscribe, share this video, find me on Instagram, and family, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.